Today we're gonna to do another whoosh bottle demonstration, but this time I'm gonna use 91% isopropyl, also called rubbing alcohol. Like all the demonstrations, you are warned not to do these or try these at home. We are in a controlled environment in the lab. We have our goggles, our apron, fire extinguisher handy. So do not try this at home. This shows you two things. One is combustion, where we're gonna get the products of water and carbon dioxide and also a lot of energy. So we'll see just how much energy. But it also shows you the how volatile the chemicals, um, certain chemicals can be, just the vapors. So I'm gonna pour this rubbing alcohol in and quickly cap off so it doesn't evaporate out of the bottle. But to help it to coat the bottle, I'm gonna turn the bottle a little bit and all that alcohol will evaporate inside the bottle. Try to get, get it all into the top. And in just a little bit, I'm going to drop a match in and see what happens. When I drop the match in, I'm going to drop it in using crucible tongs so I can also stay a safe distance from the bottle. And already the rubbing alcohol is starting to evaporate and we're generating a lot of vapor. And again, this demonstrates combustion is one of our type six types of chemical reactions, but also it shows you just how dangerous that vapors from chemicals can be. So please keep this in mind whenever you're handling or using chemicals, okay? All right. Yeah, that should be good. All the inside of the bottles coated. And I'm gonna light a match. And again, I'll hold the match with my crystal tongs before I drop it in. Let's see what happens. And that's the whoosh bottle demonstration using isopropyl alcohol.